YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Galbraith 2003. It's going to be a shorter episode here today, but just wanted to make sure you guys had a little bit more 2003 content because I think we're making, obviously, better progress in this game. And we finally have a filly, One Lady Miracle, decided to call her because that's literally what she is. Um, don't know when the next one will come around, so... Uh, yeah, let's continue to move forward. So Toxic Waters, uh, still chasing, I think, a sprint. No, not a sprint. Long champ title with him, and we're close. Should have won that Diamond Cup, but, um, yeah, got him going a tad bit too late. And that's the difference maker I knew it would be. So, uh, Chestnut, that's mid-champ territory, which he just got that title, so he doesn't need to do those type of races anymore. Um, yeah, we just need anything. Dublin Long, 14 furlongs. He's the only one that's going to run it. Perfect test. And, uh, going to make sure wherever I run him, I keep him in good space. Cannot afford to lose another race because of that. So, yeah, Twin Sun and Lightning Flash. They're kind of one horse of the same coin. Very fast with terrible stamina and power, being half brothers for mad courage. So, you know, uh, I would like to be able to retire Lightning Flash on top of having Twin Sun back there. But again, like all that speed with bad stamina and power is not ideal either. So the better of the two, Twin Sun will be retired first. And then if Lightning Flash does better, I would probably replace him. Because again, stats wise, you're getting pretty much the same horse, more or less. Electric Arrow up in the Platinum 10 furlongs. Trying to get something going in the turf. I think I'm figuring it out with him. We're on a winning streak, so let's hope that that continues. But yeah, Lightning Flash and Twin Sun are very similar horses. I'm just surprised that Lightning Flash still has bad stamina and power too, even though I know it comes from Mad Courage. But again, catch this gal, the mother of Lightning Flash. She be has bees, I should say, for, you know, the stamina and the power, so it's like, I don't know, I think for the, no, I think for the stamina, her power is still D. Okay, so that explains that, but like, I don't, I, it's just like, stamina and power are so linked together with both horses, and I, maybe I missed something in breeding, but just for it to be that low... I think I was like still expecting at least mid 60s, mid to low. And we didn't get that on either horse, so that's kind of concerning. But again, I mean, that's all we've gotten from Mad Courage. I could still breed him in Frugal Lark to maybe try to get a horse with him with that speed. Because I think Frugal probably has the best stamina and power rating back there. So, could keep him around for that, but what's the point in doing that when I can replace Mad Courage with Twin Sun, who will also have Turf and Dirt preference? With pretty much the same stats. Twin Sun and Frugal Art could be awesome. No inbreeding or anything. That could be fantastic. Uh, to give us that Mad Courage type of horse. And I'll still do the comparisons. But I think it'd be better to use one of his sons. Than to still stick with him. Because we're getting a little bit of variety in his sons. And that will help us obviously. And keeping Electric Arrow comfortable has been a little bit tricky here today. Couldn't quite get him in that right window. Okay. Plenty of stamina left to go. I'll be darned if there's a horse that closes on us in less than a furlong and a half and wins this race. And I see whoever the six is is rushing, but I think I finally... Is it? Call me crazy. Is it a coincidence or not a coincidence as at his, that as his stats have gotten better, I have also been winning with him more. That's been really the only difference. Uh... I know now to obviously get him going a little bit early, but I did that in the other races that he finished in second place in. I, I really haven't changed my riding style with him. I just, it's so hard for me to believe that his stamina and power were that heavily affected just because they were a couple of points off of 70. I just, that just wouldn't make sense to me, man. We've had worse situations play out in different ways with stats and yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad we're winning now. It's another win. Ten furlongs, and he sets the record. So that's four straight wins. Just goes to show you. I'm finally there. But again, it's like, did I just need more time with him? Was it his stats with the stamina and power being better now? Or is it a combination of everything? I still didn't completely understand him. 
I've had more races. I understand now where to run him at the front just to make sure I kind of get him going before everybody else does, and he can pretty much outrun them, hopefully, if I give him a good jump. And then, yeah, his stamina and power continue to develop. I, I, that's it. Now he puts himself ahead in the turf as he should be. I don't know. I just... Like, yeah, he's getting stronger still. Sustained growth type. But again, like, his stamina and power have only gone up. Jeez. I think four points each since the last two episodes. So you're telling me four points made that much of a difference? I just... I don't know if that... That small of an amount makes a difference. 15, I think, would. 10, I think, you could notice it. But 4? I'm just hoping that maybe it was a matter of just me getting in better rhythm with the horse. I'm still not even tapping into his abilities, which is crazy. You know, but maybe I'm just finally getting in the proper rhythm with the horse. Maybe it did require some more time. Me to do trial and error. Figure out what worked. Um... Yeah, you got two dirt races, dirt dirt races, buddy. So, running in the fur, stakes for sure. See if you can win that. I mean, you're winning in the turf right now, but flexibility on both is always fantastic. So, yeah, I don't know. That's the only thing I can chalk it up to. Maybe I did need more time with them. I just felt like if I'm finishing second, it's just like, what am I missing? And again, I don't think I've changed that much. And he's a start a little bit before his competition. I was doing that already, and we still didn't win every race, so I don't know. Twin Sun up in the Super Mile Cup, trying to stank, extend his lead in the sprint. Can't quite hope on a revolution every time, but 2.7 is when I need to get him going on the whip, so hopefully I just get him in that window again. He's still fast enough to win, but on pure merit without a revolution, I don't think we're going to beat Final Movie and maybe the other horses. Expected to finish top five, but they could also be out of the top five, depending. Good thing is, though, we're on the turf. But stamina and power. Uh, He lucked out last time with that revolution. That helps you fight that uphill grind without having to rely on that so much. But we're not going to have the luxury of that if we can't hit a rebel today, so... I don't know how this is going to go. I just hope that whoever is running at the back with me doesn't drop off too far because then that has that forces me to have to be back so far and I can't stand that. It's like, can we try to keep it close to the front? You know what I mean? It's the only downside of him being a closer. And you guys know I love my closers, but when you have fields like this in this type of race, that's when it's a downside to be on a closer because sometimes... These other back markers are so far off, and then, you know, the game is going to register you as being out of position if you're not literally the last horse, which is freaking stupid. So, you know, it is what it is. Yep. All right. Got to get him going now. Let's see. No Rebo. See, can't hope for that, but maybe I got a good enough jump where he can drive. He's driving well, but... That's a long way to still go and to catch these horses. I don't think it's going to happen. See, can't hope for that every time. Now, power, not having to really worry about. We're on a straight, but uh, gosh, completely tiring out at the end now. <sighs> That's a flat-out sprint, though. That's a long way to be on a sprint when you don't even have 60 stam. So, obviously, we were supposed to finish 5th. We finished ninth. That doesn't happen with me, usually on horses that I have uh, good stamina and power ratings with. We've seen that. It's the only downside, you know, but I took that risk getting speed, so that complicates things now for the the sprint. Granted, we're eight, six points behind Vinyl Movie, but are we going to be able to win out the rest of the races to win? I would love to give Twin Sun a GWS title, but again, that stamina and power are going to make it difficult, so... I'm certainly going to try my best, but again, look at... It's not a lot I can do with those on those, with those stats on those type of races. You really got to have both to be at least semi-competitive. Paris Mile Cup in the green, I can't see how that'll benefit him. Wait till the London Mile. Last shot, I figure... 
Granted, I could just keep running him in these races, but I would also prefer for him to be winning if he's not going to actually get the GWS, but we'll see. If we finish, like, ninth or bad like that again, then, yeah, I'm done with GWS Sprint for him, and I'm probably just going to stick him to the easiest grade ones domestically or just grade two and grade threes. We don't have to waste the speed just because we can't do grade ones. We can still rack up wins and earnings, whatever. Lightning Flash, second race with him. His stamina is even worse than his half brother. He is second favorite, whatever. So, um, yeah, I I ran him in a grade one. Didn't have much of a chance. It was a international race. He doesn't have the stats for that, as far as his stamina and power are concerned. But maybe on regular terrain domestically, we'll have a chance. I don't know. does complicate things, so I'm a little bit nervous. I doubt we're just, like, never going to win on him. I just don't know what level is going to be acceptable. Now, that ability is nice, and I guess I should have kept him pushing. I didn't think I had to, but... Who are you? Rough Swallow, you're not even going for the lead. Why are you running so hard? Gosh, the AI are so strange in this game. Like, you're not even a front runner. What are you pushing the pace for? Just settle in behind whoever else is supposed to go to the front. This feels a little bit tricky. I've had to be up, down, up, down. Gosh, he runs pretty wild here. Um, I gotta hold him. Definitely gotta hold him. Now I think I gotta send him. Let's see if he explodes away. He doesn't have the stamina for me to start any earlier. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh... He does tire out quickly. Gosh, I still may even have to start him later than that. That's crazy. 1.5. I wasn't joking. Maybe I really do have to start him there, and it's just like a furlong of just a mad sprint. Now, fortunately, with him being a front runner, you can even see how his legs are kicking out, but awesome. I love that animation, but um, fortunately, with him being a front runner, I can really put him out front as far as I need to. That way, in the stretch... He can still have a comfortable enough pace where if he has to run a horse down in less than a furlong and a half, he has the distance to close. So I'm going to have to be mindful of that. Still, another win. Or sec first win, actually. So that's great. And uh, let's just try to double down on exactly when I need to start his spurt. Training regiment. Ah, that stamina is so bad. I'm gonna be honest i feel like it'll be a waste of time to focus on it but i'm gonna put focus because it's so bad and it would just be a little nicer if i knew that we had a little bit more stamina to actually you know maybe start earlier if we had to in certain races granted if i don't have to i shouldn't need to he's a front runner i just got to give him two or three lengths ahead into the stretch that should be enough even if i start him late I want that stamina to be as high as possible. Everything else is really fine. I can't go to power, so stamina is the next best thing. So maybe in the course of a year of his development, that stamina will be tolerable. Did somebody's grade change? No, thought it did. So yeah. Um, that's the deal with this dude, and we're going to run him six. Keep him short. I mean, he's at his peak right now. It feels weird to be running him in opens, but again, he doesn't have the stamina or the power to run internationally. And the grade ones I have to be picky of because it's probably going to be a waste of time if I'm just throwing him into any grade one at his distance. i got to make sure there's no incline or no type of tough terrain he's got to navigate. Otherwise, it's really just going to destroy his chances. So we got to be smart, whatever route that is. Electric Arrow up in the 9 furlong first stakes. Our competition clear time is here. We're better than that horse. We should have beat him the first time. I will try to redeem myself this time. That horse is a front runner. Started a lot later than I realized. I wasn't really paying attention to that. That clear time was to the inside of us in that last race we ran with him in the last episode. And, um... Yeah, I thought he closed on us, but I guess he just held really long at the front. That's why he was able to have that explosive rally. So I'm going to have to be very mindful of when he starts. Clearly he's fast, and he's really explosive when he holds his spurt. So I just got to time myself around him, keep my eyes on him, see when he starts. Because, again, he's going to be 
it's our dream record here. But uh, yeah, clear time is going to be our competition through this whole dirt championship. So I really just need to stay focused on him. I don't think anybody else has the capabilities of beating us. Where are you? You're going to go for the lead eventually. Is this you right here to the side of me? No, where are you? Are you up there somewhere? Four. Okay. Oh, you're literally right here. So, like I said, um, I just need to really just watch this horse. Like, if I go too soon and this horse is still holding, then he's going to catch us again in the end. If I go too late and allow this horse to get the jump on us, then we will be in a position of um, being vulnerable to never catching up. Granted, I think Electric Arrow is fast enough, but it, we tried it before. It didn't really work. Now, that horse is kind of boxed in with us, fortunately, right now. That does work out kind of in our favor. So, still going to, now we're going to kick. Okay, got a great run. Electric, uh, no, he's buried in traffic back there. Is he still holding? He's still holding. There's no way. Now he's driving with a furlong left to go. That's actually terrifying. That type of closer, huh? But fortunately, Electric Arrow's going to get it done. Gate to wire trip always helps. Wow. To be honest, probably held him too long there, but it wasn't until a furlong that his jockey even got him going. Is that really how I have to ride, like, Lightning Flash and Twin Sun to get the best out of them? Maybe not Twin Sun, but Lightning Flash with his stamina? So I wonder if Clear Time doesn't have good stamina either, and that's why he has to hold so long. Nonetheless, we're still on a great winning streak now with Electric Arrow. I think I got it figured out. Granted, I lucked out with some traffic in the way of um, clear time and again having that inside rail that always makes a difference in those races but a win is a win it's another win on the dirt we're approaching a dirt champ title with electric arrow wins by three lengths and um, yeah <laughs> now is leading both the turf and the dirt for the GWS Guy could literally end up winning both, and that, again, is the benefit of a horse with a good health rating, too. I, he has the health and the conditioning to run back-to-back -back races sometimes, two races in a month on different surfaces, because he also has the preference of wherever. That's fantastic. Twin Sun is still in this series, but we got to win next time out. If he doesn't, then I don't... I mean, we're not far away in the points, but, like, are we going to rack up enough wins or second-place finishes? That's where we're still figuring it out. Electric Arrow, again, still leading the turf and now leading the dirt over clear time. Duke can win both championships, for sure. They're wide open. Wide open. So, whatever's next for you, that's what you'll be doing. Music Astronaut, ready for that. So, Paris. No, you're not running the sprint. Uh, I could run him in the dirt again, but I want to be smart. So the turf or the dirt? Ooh, this is tough. The World Classic on the dirt or the England King on the turf? Let's see how many races are left afterwards. Respectively. So there's a dirt race he can run in. He won't do that turf one. So two dirt races to one turf. And then you got the China Cup here at 10. So, China Mile and what else? Yeah, China Mile and then the um, England King, if I decided to do that with him. I saw it be in the green for the Music S. And he's not running the Paris 12 furlongs is too long. If I run him in the England King, that means we're skipping the World Classic, unless I'm okay with running him in the green for this race, but I feel like we're going to need all the help we can get. The turf feels like a lot easier to win. Uh, I'm indecisive. I don't know what to do, because again, he only has one more opportunity for the dirt and the turf at the end of the year. So, what I could do, I could run him in both. Run him here, run him here, even though he'll be in the green. That's probably his best shot at trying to stack as many points as possible. Because if we can extend our lead in the turf, then that obviously helps us out a lot. And then if we can have a good result in the dirt, we can still maybe keep ourselves competitive there as well. So we, we have some flexibility. 
Probably should have just did that to begin with. Anyways. But it's fine. Toxic Waters. 14 furlongs. Long trip. I was going to say before I even looked at the sheet, I can't imagine there's any long distance horse that's really strong enough to give us a run yet. They're just not here in this particular year, I guess. But I know they're out there. But, um... Yeah, man, these stats make him very, very, very hard to contend with. That's why I've only dropped two races with him. Still should be undefeated, but 16 for 18 ain't bad, if you ask me. And um, this could probably get him the long champ title, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. One, two. No, he might still need another one after this, unless I miscount it. But he should be close to a long champ title for sure making it easy man this has been one of the easiest journeys i've had with the horse to get the lawn champ title he's just winning these races without any issue really heavy favorite in all of these distances 12 and higher just goes to show you man from social brandy that i used to pull that's the benefit of social brandy you don't get to race your horse maybe as much over the longevity of their career but man you get that horse with <laughs> Speed, power, staying, and stamina all essentially at the same level. They're all like at a net 82. That's that's not out of this world, but my goodness. That's strong enough to allow you to win a lot of races in this game without too much hassle, at least at this level. I still don't know what he would do in a Dream Cup type of series, and I'm curious. Can't wait to retire him. We'll get to use him. I'm curious what he would do. I wonder if he'll be the best cult that we would have had to use like over social brandy who's technically done the best in that series and that's not saying a lot since we haven't even still finished in the top five i think so yeah toxic waters is able to be at a point where he could actually finish in the top five in a dream cup type of race that would say a lot so we'll see i mean i'm gonna keep running him for a while as long as i can i should say achieve as much as we can because one day he'll probably replace social brandy i would imagine doesn't have any bad stats except for i think that feel rating so whatever and it's okay so i don't mind sacrificing that because he also has a better power rating which uh social brandy i think social brandy still has a for that too right so yeah toxic waters could replace social brandy one day is what i'm trying to say so i think it'd be pretty appropriate if um we got as much winning and titles done with him as close to as we could with social brandy and you know make sure he's as worthy as he can be and again you look at how a horse is able to hold on even in a tough race going uphill like this but when you have sub 80 stamina and power that's the difference man any other horse with half of that is done you know Toxic Waters, another win. 14 furlongs, and again, winning at the long distance distances easily. So we know we're building a pedigree, a long distance pedigree with this particular line now starting with Toxic Waters. I felt like we haven't had a real pedigree of long distance horses in this game. And Toxic Waters from Social Brandy out of East Pool could be the first of, obviously, I think our strongest breeding family so far. Uh, of the new rebuild, I should say. And another record. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. 17 for 19. <laughs> yeah, I, I really didn't think Toxic Waters would be this good. Un, like, close to undefeated good. I knew we were going to get a really strong horse. Um, but gosh, dude is really exceeding my expectations. I mean, I'm winning with him better than any other horse. As far as consistency is concerned, Frugal, I won a lot, but we still dropped some races. I've only dropped two with this guy. And he's still developing 84 speed. I mean, my gosh, man. So 47 breaking, okay, not a big deal. He gets out, you know, well enough. Feel a 69 response and health, yeah. I don't want those ratings to be lower. But that's all I have to be mindful about for breeding. So again, he does pretty much inherit, I think, Social Brandy stats. For the most part but he is getting good abilities um and then some essence of east to pool in there with her consistency so to me like 
Yeah, I think eventually one day he could replace Social Brainy, especially based off of how he's winning now. So we need one more grade one at 12. I would run him in these races, but him being in the green, I just don't feel like there's any rush. Paris Royal at 15 and a half. Is that doing too much? I'm not going to lie. I'd rather run him in the World Turf Cup because I know we're not doing that with Electric Arrow. So I'm going to put him there. And uh, we can take some points away to solidify Electric Arrow's Turf Championship. I'm totally fine with that. Toxic Waters is... You know, obviously put in his work to get his title. So now he can help out Electric Arrow, hopefully, to get his. So still some things to figure out with the uh, the three-year-old and the two-year-old, but hopefully we'll see what we need to do. Because they'll still be fast for a while, so I don't really have to retire them that soon, even though they've already technically peaked. But as long as their speed stays above 75, they could still probably be competitive Unless their stamina and power really fall off a cliff. Lightning Flash up in an open. Uh, Pacific Quest is the only one that should be finishing close to us. So should be another win. And again, I feel like I have to start this dude at like literally 1.5. That's not even a joke. Yeah, that stamina and power gives us nothing to work with. So like starting him too soon will most certainly cause him races. Cost him to lose races. So, let me just focus on um, getting him to the front. Comfortable lead, like I said. Let's test it out here. Who, what are, what is going on? Are we really running? Well, yeah, I guess it's six furlongs. I forgot it is a sprint. Yeah, I know, my bad, bro. Just didn't realize we were running that fast. But, you know, I get it. It's a sprint. So like I said, this is what I need to do. Give him a comfortable couple length lead. That way when I need to kind of get him up to speed like I do now, I still don't have to use the whip yet. Still don't have to use the whip. Now I can put him on the drive. Less than 1.3 furlongs left to go. Now I can kick away, but is it too late? Ah, oh, it's too late. Wow. See, this is, uh, this is what's going to concern me, man. What's his heart rating? It's not bad, is it? Or guts rating? Yeah, too late, though. I was calling it as it was happening. Ugh. I think this is in 2004. Game definitely would have taken him away. Ugh, 43 stamina. Like, what? Why are my horses just getting such randomly bad stats? I don't understand. Twin Sun, up in the London Mile. Uh, Final Movie's actually not here, but... That doesn't make the race any easier because we got Polish media, Rough World, Happy Runner, Dancing Partner, Sudden Wave. There's still plenty of fast horses. Gosh, Lightning Flash, I don't know what to do. If I can't even win Sprint Opens, that's going to be a problem. And again, he's pretty much at his peak. He's a Mad Courage foal. I mean, he'll continue to grow halfway through his three-year-old season, right? And his speed will eventually be higher. His stamina, hopefully through training, will improve at least to like a mid to low 60. But that's asking a lot. And it's already at 43. That's a lot of work. I don't know if it's going to get that high. But gosh. It's going to be tricky to figure out where to run that horse, man. Because, you see, even if I wait to 1.5, and granted the timing just could have been too late... And he just kind of lost a head-to-head -head or something. But stamina-wise, I mean, still can't, you know, couldn't... I don't know if sending him earlier would have gotten us a better result. I suppose it wouldn't have hurt it, you know, I wouldn't have hurt to try it in the moment. But, again, two races I did with him, I felt like if I got him going sooner based off of how he responded, it would have hurt him. If I hold him that race, and then there's just nothing... And I do think maybe he got demo demotivated, for sure. So I think that played a bigger role than what you'd probably think. Okay, nice spurt here. From Twin Sun. Still got to move him, which I know that stops his momentum. Yep. And again, stamina and power. He struggles to really pick up speed going up this part of the track. This is where he kind of stops. Still going to finish fifth. 
It's not a bad effort, but that's not going to be good enough to keep them in this series because these races are going to be run on tracks like this. And I have to hope for, like, good results every time. I'm supposed to finish second in that race? Yeah. I guess. Like I said, I think with Revolutions, we can win those races without them. I, I just, I feel the difference. The The stamina and the power is really an issue in those races. Otherwise, they wouldn't have those as a metric in the game if it didn't matter. So, Electric Arrow still leading both Turf and Dirt Series. So, everything's still on the table for him. Twin Sun, you're still good enough to be competitive. And, gosh. Um... I'm just keeping him balanced, I guess, for the time being. That seems to have worked best for him so far. But, yeah, no more GWS turf for you. So, we're going to run you a little bit easier now. Sock a mile. Him in the green probably doesn't make sense. Like, will he carry an impost? No, impost at a grade three. Oh, I feel so anticlimactic to get to move him to that already. World Sprint. This makes more sense since he's still in this championship. He can still win, maybe if I run him better, but... I mean, I guess why not, man? Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Still only six points behind. Winning in that race puts us in first, more than likely, or at least close to to first like second so we we've had that happen sometimes when we didn't expect it to i just i don't know gosh and i don't want to run this dude anything above six but i'd like to try to figure it out get a m more normalized start he could really benefit from having last corner leader he really really could yeah gosh really unfortunate about the, the the speed boys man which getting mad courage you know that's a risk you take everybody obviously knows that depending on your brood mares you have brood mares with you know maybe ass and double s stamina and power then you'll probably be okay but you guys have seen even with horses without those stats i'm still getting terrible stamina and power on some of our you know our our, our foals I, I don't know how that's happening lightning flash uh, favorite. No, second favorite. Behind the eight horse, Delicious Sage. Yeah, I don't know, man. This dude is lots of speed, but gosh, I, the, the window is so small. I haven't noticed in my playing of this game for a while on YouTube, trying to find that exact small window, that's not really enjoyable for me, man. It's a little, min it's a little monotonous. Monotonous and too meticulous. Too, or too meticulous. Monotonous and too meticulous. I have to find that small window every single time with the horse just to get them exactly. And uh, didn't mean to send him that far to the front. Could have possibly ruined his race already. Um, yeah, what? I overcompensated trying to send him to the front because I just kind of fell asleep in the beginning of the race. But, um... Yeah, I, still, I definitely got to figure it out. I would hate for this dude to be a waste. You know? Uh, probably too early to send him, but what else am I supposed to do? That horse rolled up on my hip and gone already. Of course. That was just a bad race in general. Like, I'm not really going to... It's a bad result, but I'm going to count it as just complete negligence on my part. So... Got to bounce back. But, uh, gosh, it's... Mm. Like, everything is always good but the stretch, and that's because we don't have the power or the endurance to make the good stretch runs like we can with Electric Arrow and Toxic Waters. Oh, dear, man. Deary, deary, dear. I... Let me see. Let me double check power and stamina ratings for everybody involved. Mad Courage. C stamina and D power. C is still like in the 60s, bro. I think. Or maybe 50s. Double S is like 90 whatever and up. 
S is high 90, A is like 80, B is 70. Yeah, C is still 60. So power being D, okay, that makes sense. Guts is not great as well. And then for Honeybee, let's check her out for Twin Sun. They have the same stamina and power rating, so somehow they put two 60s together and decided, hey, stamina's going to be 20 points worse. Fantastic. Thank you, Gal Racer. Thank you so much. And then Matt Courage and Catch This Gal. Wow, she actually also has C and D. And the game just decided to take the worst, the best of the stamina and make it worse. That's what I wasn't expecting. The power rating I knew would be where it was at. I was hoping the stamina was going to be decent enough, but D power is really kind of a, a bad thing to have in here. And somehow Toxic Waters didn't actually inherit that from East to Pool. Thank goodness, because we had Social Brandy in there with an A ranking of power. So if I've learned anything, and I bred Frim Crimson Art and Frugal Art, but again, hopefully they'll bounce Frugal's Art. A will bounce out the D of Crimson Art at least. And granted, we know the stamina is not going to be bad. You can't have bad stamina and power. One or the other you can probably live without. B stamina for Crimson. Uh, B for Frugal. Gosh, I hope they don't knock that down. That would be depressing. They're taking C rank stamina and turning it into a D, basically. I hope they don't take B and turn it into a C, but we'll see. Uh... Gosh, so like going forward. Frugal's worst rating is temper and health. East of Pool's worst rating worst rating is power and health. We still, as great as Frugal Arc is, we still don't have a broodmare that just has no bad stats in any of the important categories. They all either have a bad stat in power, stamina, or health. I don't have one that's clear on all of those. C stamina, not ideal. As power for Suave Master. So her and I mean we could get maybe more power, but then still not have good stamina if we bred her and Mad Courage together, but I'm kinda over that. Gosh, I think we still have to get the power, stamina, and mainly the power and stamina together. B and A is the best from Frugal Arc, thank goodness. But again she does E health, which you can sacrifice that if you don't mind racing. Every blue moon, but C and D for everybody else essentially, and then C and S for Suave. Like frugal with the best stamina at B. What? Ugh, man, really need to get need to get a broodmare back there with S. I hope this filly will have some. Um, I hope she will from Suave. Well. Suave Master of C. Gosh, stamina still not going to be that great. It'll be slightly improved. No, she's coming from Social Brandy. Actually, if she inherits his stamina, she could be okay like Toxic Waters. Yeah, she could be okay, actually. But it's, it's probably... I don't know if they'll put it A or S... She's developing nicely, though. Three stars for toughness, two stars for everything else. She's not even a year old yet, so that's good. To think, Frugal Arc has the best stamina back here with B. That's so, that's so poor. Like the best stamina, I think, is still A only. Wow, to think. We still actually are quite, quite a little distance away from having those really good stats for those categories. I'm not going to lie. That's having me rethink a lot. Like, Lightning Flash, if I can't figure it out with this dude, I, you guys know I hate letting my horses go, but really, what, what are we going to achieve? What are we going to achieve? Gate Rocket, like, whatever. I can get that ability on a horse. I might need to look in the shop for, like, a broodmare, at least, with, you know, A, S stamina, legitimately. Because I don't know if the Philly stamina is going to hit that point. So I'm going to give Lightning Flash another shot. But, man, grade two, it's going to be tougher competition, but, you know, I'm going too late. I could be more patient with him. I'm doing a stamina regiment training. I mean, training regiment. Twin Sun's actually still strong. You know what? I've had him on balance. I am going to do stamina and see if that helps at all. Because he's a horse I still feel like I can win on more. Mainly because his stamina and his power are not as bad. 
as his half-brother. Lightning Flash, it's just, it's feeling really difficult to get in that window, and I don't want that frustration if it's going to be like that. Got three, one, three grade ones. This guy still has Gate Rocket as well again. I feel more confident with where he is. Um, so yeah, if you compare, so it's 52 and 48 for him, and then Lightning Flash, 44 and 51. So, power is better for Lightning Flash, but his stamina is worse. Ugh. Again, 60 stamina I need at the minimum. 60 stamina and power, both. If they're lower than that, it's going to be a struggle. And we're seeing that happen firsthand. So, I can't settle for anything lower than those two stats. We'll see. England, King Stakes with Electric Arrow. Back to back here. Um, not the favorite. Doesn't need to be, but might as well as might as well be. Still developing. We win this. We can try to win the world. Um, world uh, cup. What is that race called on the dirt? Can't remember. But we can still win that GWS dirt race as well. Considering I've dropped races with him this year, he's actually having a really solid season. <laughs> Because, again, he hasn't finished worse than second. So, <laughs> you're talking about a horse that, you know, technically has as, as high of a chance as any horse to finish either first or second. Him and Toxic Waters both. Toxic Waters has only lost two. Electric Arrow has lost a couple more. But, again, he's still finishing in the top two. So, they're both doing really exceptionally well considering how consistent they're winning. How consistently they are winning, I should say. I'm just being hard on myself because I feel like Electric Arrow has such great stats that I, I, I need to make sure I'm maximizing that and not like losing easy races. That that's my thing. If his stats were kind of just, you know, typical for like a double S horse, I don't think I'd be putting that much pressure on myself. But he doesn't have a bad stat at all. Like he's really the ideal ideal stat wise type of horse. I just wish the stamina and power was a little bit better, but everything else is, is fine. So, like, yeah, I, I gotta make sure I'm, I'm winning with him. And we've been on now a five win streak, so clearly I figured it out. And again, it's just so weird that it seems to happen as soon as his other stats, which mainly is the stamina and power, are finally starting to get better. You know? Go. Take off. Okay, we need the buffer because I feel like somebody could close on us. You're doing well. Doing well. Still holding. The 12 is still there. Keep holding. 12 is answering back. Oh, come on. Close race. Okay, finally we get that ability to work for us. Gosh, was that grand show? That horse is always giving us tough runs, man. I respect that horse a lot. That horse is always, always, always for these type of races right there with us, no matter who I'm racing on. Six for six. Safe to say I think I found the window. And most importantly, that extends his lead in the turf. And... Yeah, he's already got the mid-champ title, right? Yeah, he's already got his mid-champ title, so... Just working on that GWS turf, man. Yeah. Really, really awesome horse, man. And I still feel like I'm just not, you know, uh, excelling on all cylinders with him. You know, I feel like I was already at that point by the, by this time with Crimson Art, Vivid Legend, Social Brandy. I still don't feel like I'm there, even though that's six wins in a row with Electric Arrow. I just, I don't know. Yeah, Twin Sun, he's, I mean, if he wins, he'll be in first place or at least second. That's why, like, I'm going to give him that one last shot. But he's got to win. If he can't win, we're not winning the series. Electric Arrow now six points ahead of Rare Emerald. So a little bit of a buffer there, but that series is not over yet. And uh, tied with clear time in the dirt. So, <sighs> gosh, yeah, Lightning Flash, you got one more chance, bro. Twin Sun, I'm still going to keep around a bit because at least we have been winning with him and Again, his stamina being at least a little bit higher, that's giving him a little bit more juice to last um, when, you know, we need him to. So, 
Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be running them back to back. Yep. Now, granted, he'll whichever series I guess he has the better chance of winning. I'll put him in that last race. He might be able to do two, but he'll be in the gray after this. I don't know if he'll be ready for the next dirt one. So, if anything, trying to probably win him the turf would be the smarter option. But now, I mean, his last six wins, two have come off the dirt, four have come off the turf for grade ones. So, turf focus should be there, but we can't neglect the dirt. Anyways, Twin Sun, World Mile Cup. It's win or go home, big boy. It's win or go home. Competitive field. He's not the favorite, but we have a chance. And, um... Yeah, I... Gosh... It's the only thing about running him as a closer, and that's not his fault. It's like the fields have been really far apart, and he doesn't have the stamina to keep his speed up. If he had at least, instead of, you know, 52 stam, if he had 70, 68, he'd be strong enough to, I think, start a little bit earlier in the back, keep that speed up, and not tire out sometimes too soon at the line. So, um, Rogel Art with the record here, but yeah. He can win this race. Almost a perfect start, but we don't need it because he'll be in last place anyways. And I'm going to hold him back, hold him back, hold him back, hold him back. Not that much, but maybe that actually works out for us because now I can just move him to the inside. While well, these rests, well, I'm going to say while the rest of these horses try to figure it out, but it turns out I can't go any more um, inside to the, uh, to the track than where I was. So now, got to figure out. Rail or uh, rail is not open, is it? Rail doesn't look open. Uh, yeah, that gap is not there, and they're gosh, they're so spread out. I'm gonna have to take a wide trip. I don't trust this. Oh, inside's not open. Gosh, we're gonna have to run them so. Now I could keep them tucked in. Actually, is there a gap here? Oh, we can actually sneak past this horse. Wow got to get him going now so we get closer i'm gonna keep him on the outside trying to move him inside it's not gonna work just hope that he runs off nicely here furlong and a half left to go he's driving but gosh man i don't know furlong left to go still driving still driving still driving not enough there's nothing i can do in that race man if he's as a closer third place it's a great effort great finish at the end but again <laughs> I guess I could have tried to get him going sooner. Maybe he would have had more stamina to stay clear, but that's the thing. He's a closer. I got to keep him in last place, and we're running on a track like that where you don't have a lot of real estate once you come around turn four. So that, to me, is just kind of the unfortunate circumstance of his leg type. If he's at least mid or proceeder, I can run him a lot closer to the front, and then we'll be able to strike whenever. Electric Era, world classic. Still favoritism. I actually like, well, Rare Emerald's still here. Actually, we're called favorites. Great. So, uh, this is tough, man. We are perfect time still here as well. Clear time is not. So, just worried about, oh, no, clear time is here. Didn't see. Okay, all of our rivals are actually here. So, we're all probably running at the same level of, like, kind of being fatigued at this point. Just goes to show you whoever is winning is really top dog or top horse. Of the, you, you guys get what I'm saying. All right. Uh, well, it depends what happens. If we win this race, I got to keep them in those last two races. If we lose this race and somehow we're further behind in points, then running him in that last GWS Dirt race will probably not be worth it, and I'll just make sure he's ready to go in December for the China Mile to hopefully secure the GWS Turf. He will be missing that 12 furlong race, so I think I'm going to have to use Toxic Waters again to play blocker, keeper, <laughs> so we can try to keep whoever's in that race from actually winning it. That way, t you know, Ledger Girl keeps his, uh, keeps his advantage. So Toxic Waters will hopefully be able to help us out there. 12 furlongs, I mean, if he needs that race... In fact, by that point, I don't know if he'll still need another 12 for a long race. Because I think... Oh, we'll see. I think if he's racing today and he wins... I think he's racing on this same track. If he wins, he'll have the Long Champ title. So, either way, I'm still going to put him in that last race to help Electric Arrow. Because he'll still need it. 
So our boy is still going to get a title. I just don't know if he's getting one or two. This race will dictate whether or not he's getting two <laughs> or one. Where is Rare Emerald? Clear time. Oh, Rare Emerald's actually tucked in somewhere. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Pull away now. Pull away now. Pull away now. Good drive. Rare Emerald's coming. Keep driving. That's a long way for that horse to make up. Stay strong, brother. Stay strong. Stay strong, Electric. Stay strong. It looks like we're just going to get it done. And gosh, this horse is pretty incredible, man. Seven race winning streak now with them. Gets it done on the dirt. Ten furlongs. And he is still effectively leading both series. I know we've won two titles with a horse before in the same year for the GWS, but I mean, doing this, I, I don't recall if I ever did this with Social Brandy. And I think I won each one of his titles over the, the span of his career, but winning the turf and the dirt in the same year, man, that's why I picked this horse up. <laughs> Could you imagine? And the next year we can actually focus on the sprint exclusively for his five-year-old campaign, and, and he's still getting stronger. He sets the record. Gosh, what a horse, man. Oh, what a great win. What a great win for Electric Arrow. Wow. It, it's clicked on, clearly. That's seven wins in a row with them. I still wish I knew what the real answer was. It could be stats. It could be just rhythm. Both. World Turf Cup. This is a race that, uh, well, none of the rivals for Electric Arrow are here. So winning this race would really just maybe put a little bit of a buffer in between some horses. And make sure that nobody else gets close to Electric Arrow to try to steal it away. But none of the rivals are here. So, it's another race for Toxic Waters to try to help out his stable mate. But most importantly, this will get him the Long Champ title if he wins today. So, let's make sure that happens because we are the favorites and by quite a margin. Wow. Yeah, I just... I, I wish I knew. Like, what do you guys think it was with Electric Arrow? Clearly something was not clicking. Was it just development? Was it timing? Was it his, the stamina and the power? Again, the stamina and the power just really seems odd because they weren't bad. They just weren't at the 80s, like what we've had with Toxic Waters. But seven wins in a row with him. Most of them, six of them grade ones on turf and dirt. It's just clicking now. Maybe I did need just a little bit more time to figure out when to get him going. But granted, I thought I was already running him like that in races that I lost. That's why I'm confused. I'm like, I didn't really change my play style with him. It's just he's winning now. <laughs> so I don't know. It's probably a combination of a bunch of things. Anyways, really nice pace here for Toxic Waters. This is like a smooth trip for our boy. This is what allows him to win these races. We don't really have any fields where the pace is competitive, and even if it was, he'd be able to run with it. He does have that ability, which is fantastic, but that's the crazy thing. These, you know, There hasn't been horses in our field to set a fast pace, so really they're just allowing us to be on cruise control, and that's why they end up getting burned in the stretch. Now, am I fitting through here? I can't tell. I'm, I was going to say, I'm, I was literally stuck between those two horses. That's so stupid. Like, we're right in the gap. We've all watched horse racing. I've seen horses race much closer and still have space. And last corner leader, I feel like I haven't tapped into that since he was like three years old, man. And all the stamina left to spare and the difference in having a horse with 80 stam and power. Big game changer. Another win, and that should be the long champ title for Toxic Waters. 12 furlongs makes it look easy. My goodness. I really did not have any expectations this horse would be this good. I knew he'd be strong, but to win this consistently, I was hoping that would be the case. But again, it's hasn't always gone according to plan in this game, so I've had to tailor my expectations. But I think he's the proving sign we can now really look forward to that. I mean, imagine. He's already won the turf, but <laughs> to win it twice in a row, that wouldn't do that. Electric Arrow really deserves both. Classic is, again, just trying to block anybody else's way. Not on track, but, you know, in the points. So you see now, 
Toxic Waters has created the gap between third and obviously everybody else. So now it's just a sandwich with Emerald in between and Toxic Waters is going to have to do it one more time. If he can, Electric Arrow should secure the championship for both the turf and the dirt. I don't nobody's catching us in the dirt. I don't think those horses are better than Electric Arrow. And there is a Lawn Champ title there for Toxic Waters. Let's go. So we got Lawn Champ, we got Mitch. Ooh, what else? Dirt Champ finally. Wow, for Electric Arrow. So his first title finally. Just to, just goes to show you good good progress. As I expected, he's in the gray. Has he peaked? Or is he still growing? No, his power was actually in the 70s. I wonder if he's peaked now. Still not bad. Um, 14 grade ones. Yeah, that, that we went from 7 to 14 in two episodes. So 16 wins out of 21 starts. Toxic Waters, 18 wins out of 20 starts with 12. Gosh, these dudes are killing it, man. Uh, gosh, so what race do I run them in now? You see, if somebody runs that race and wins it, that's our competition. We lose the dirt series. So it's like, do I, if I run him in the green again, I don't think he'll be ready for the China mile for the turf. And Toxic Waters, if he's able to win these races, he could still end up winning. This is... Gosh, I guess I would have to hope that whoever his whoever we're rivals to in the dirt doesn't win because we're only six points ahead of Rare Emerald. We still need to win that point. That horse is still probably going to try to get some points. Um, man, tough, tough decision. Uh, so Tossic, we're going to run him in the Continental. If Rare Emerald's there and we block him, you know what? Oh, gosh, and the fact that both races are running the same day. Excuse me. Um. Hmm. He's in the gray. He really needs to recover. If I run him in the green just to try to get some more points in the dirt, but it's like, what if we don't even finish anywhere? I don't. I want to make sure he's in the blue because I still think we're gonna have to win this race in uh, for the China Cup. We're only six points ahead of Rare Emerald, and that horse could still score points if it's racing in the last race. I just don't know. So I feel like he's he's got a bigger lead in the dirt. I think we might have to skip out on that. And, um... I mean, I wish Twin Sun had the stamina to run the dirt, but he doesn't, so... Uh... Mount Champ Cup. I mean, we gotta try to still get him a grade one. He's out of the GWS for now. I mean, he's done with the GWS, so... Yeah, this is tough. Um, I wish I knew who was going to be in this race because if our competition is not going to be here, then yeah, I skip it for sure. And I, I still think I need to skip it anyways. Like, you know, because he's, he's got a bigger gap in that series so he can afford to maybe miss a race. But if he misses that a race and his second rival ends up winning then we lose that championship by a point that's what stinks and i can't control that unless i had another dirt horse to play spoiler but twin sun is doesn't have the endurance to run 10 furlongs on the dirt so like that would be a waste of time lightning flash in a grade two he's the favorite um i gotta win with this guy today if i don't i think we need to look at getting we really need to try to find some filly that even if it's a later growth type, we eventually have A at the minimum, but maybe S stamina. I know that's going to be hard, but B is the best that we have for the girls for the stamina. That that's not that's not in the plan, and that is going to hold us back. Depending on if our foals get the father or, or broodmare stamina, I don't want to deal with that. And we've needed girls with good stamina for a while, so you know, lightning flash again. This is a horse I wouldn't use for breeding. His stats in regards to the stamina and power are worse than Twin Sun. That's why I feel like it's a little bit harder to even win with this guy. They shouldn't have been that low. Power, maybe. Stamina shouldn't... No. Should not have been this low. So that's what's annoying. And again, it's like, I don't even know when I could start. Like, if I start now, is this enough to actually keep him competitive? Or is he still going to die out? And you see just... Gosh, he's already gone. There's nothing I can do, man. 
There's nothing I can do. Hate to let this horse go early, but I just not gonna benefit anybody. That's that's a bummer. I wasn't expecting him to be some all star champion, but I thought his stamina and power, at least his stamina, his power was gonna be bad, but you know, I it's the same thing every time, like not gonna benefit, just gonna take a whole bunch of races to not win them, maybe win one every blue moon. I the stats aren't good. Twin Sun again, got some grade ones with him. A little bit more lost Philly. And I what? This game is so goofy. Losing the ability Philly because I'm I lost a race on a cult? That doesn't even make sense. That's what I mean. You can't just defend everything in this game because some of it doesn't make sense. And gosh, look at his stats. It feels like such a waste, but I can't do anything with stamina and power like that. And with his early growth type, it's not gonna get that much better. I'm gonna save you. Maybe for some, you know, offline videos that we'll do or whatever, but gosh. I am I'm sad, Lightning Flash. Because you really are a good horse, but the stamina and the power is especially with where the stamina is. I don't know how much better it's gonna get. I know he's still developing, but gosh, are you that much better than Twin Sun? Well, you are. That's also what's weird, man. That's also what's very weird. Statistically, he's better than Twin Sun. As far as all the categories, but... Ugh, the stamina it just seems so, like... Look at all those stats. But what good are they if you, if, you know, I can't, you, you can't figure out the exact window to get him going in the stretch. I just, I don't want that headache. It sucks, but this is, that's not what I was expecting. Not for the power and the stamina, like, and I know he could still develop. Maybe the the stamina could grow over time. <sighs> but gosh, it just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, So are we racing today? Uh, with Twin Sun, and then Toxic Waters will be up after that. I'm really torn. Like, I just, I don't feel like it's going to be worth it, because again, I don't want to breed those stats going forward. Mad Courage was the exception, Twin Sun will be another exception, and I'll have to be more specific with their breeding. Also, though, the closer leg type for Twin Sun, oh gosh, it's such a weird place to be with these two. Such a weird place. We are the favorite here. Their stats are very similar. Lightning Flash is actually a little bit better, which I think makes sense because, again, Catch This Gal, she had better stats overall compared to Honey Bee. But they both still suffer so much in the stamina and power field, especially the stam here for this guy. He's eight points lower than his half-brother. Now, that is making a difference clearly. And it's like, what do I do with an early growth type? How much better is that stamina going to get? I don't see it getting to 60 before his stats really start to drop. It may hit 54, 55. That puts him where Twin Sun is with maybe a couple other better stats, but I feel like I'm struggling to win. And even though I don't like that Twin Sun is a closer, I just kind of wish he was a mid-runner maybe because of his bad stamina. So we don't have to come back from so far because I have to be as far back as the last horse. Um, but gosh, like I just, I don't know. I, I felt much better with Twin Sun. It was a little bit of a roughy, a roughy, a rough time in the beginning. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. They're both so similar in different ways. So it's like deciding like who to really put the time into or who's worth keeping around. I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Got a rebel, but don't block me, please. And like I said, we can't just hope for a revolution every time with Twin Sun, but it's easier to hit revolutions with him as a closer for whatever reason. And that's partly because his mother, Honey Bee, I got used to doing that with her. It didn't happen all the time, but if I can get the right window. And he wins the Mile Champ Cup. Fourth grade one for Twin Sun. Wins it again at a mile. 
And, um, yeah, still could actually get a title. Believe that. <laughs> I know Lightning Flash has the better stats, but again, do I expect Lightning Flash to get to this point where we could at least start to win easier grade ones? I don't know. I know part of me is probably really being impatient because I would prefer to have a stronger, another strong Philly we could race with with really good stamina. Is, again, I didn't realize B was the best that we had. Five length winner, but again, that's the type of grade one he needs to do. Limited with space, so I don't know, man. I, it's a gosh, it's such a hard decision. But now that I'm racing on lightning flash with the with the front runner like type, it's not as enjoyable as I thought maybe it was going to be in comparison. Like these stats on a front runner. Don't seem to be working. Now, that is where Twin Sun can benefit from sitting off the pace. He can save up for that really explosive spurt. That's the thing about Lightning Flash. This stamina and this leg type is going to make it really difficult, I feel, for me to really get in rhythm. I'm going to let him go. I just feel like it's going to be a headache. The thing, I can replace one of these guys now. I'm not using Vivid Legend again. I just... I'm not going to use Vivid again, so I'm curious. I'm going to overwrite Vivid and just see what his stats are. C rank, of course. He didn't really do anything. He won one race, bro. I'm just curious. Where do they rate his stats in comparison to Mad Courage? C and B. Wow. Yeah, that looks ugly compared to everything else we have. So Mad Courage. Double S speed. Double S staying. S breaking. Stamina is D and C. Let's see where he compares. So not as fast as his father. Not as good at braking. Better temper, better feel at least. Of course, better guts. Like I said, it's just the stamina and the E stamina. See? That wouldn't be worth it regardless of how well he does. The game is giving him E by default. We haven't had a stud with E stamina in... Gosh, I don't know how long in this playthrough. So... I'm actually glad I retired him. All those stats, do they make it worth it? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, none of them are bad, so you could still start a line with him. But then who... E, Stamina, and D, Power. There's still not even a Broodmare that would balance that out because CD, CD, BA, that's still not good enough. Um, Gosh, you know what I mean? CD, SC, like, it's just nobody has at least AA for speed. You know, stamina and power. That's what I really need. I've lacked it. Glad I retired him and put him there because that reveals a lot. Um, yeah, that reveals exactly what I needed to. So Twin Sun, I still may retire, but his stamina is probably going to be D. But that's better than freaking E. Talk about going backwards. Last Aquarius. 65 stamp, average growth type, last corner leader. 65 power, I just, nah, those need to be in the 80s, both of them, respectively. Higher than that. Is there any Philly I can find that's like a gem with stamina, I wonder? Scotch Bird. See, if these were sustained growth types, then that would be good. We've had Broodmares with these type of stats. I can't need better. Don't know if we're going to get a full explosion. Doubt it. Yeah, anybody else this low? Early growth types. Yeah, wow. Yeah, nothing in here, so that's kind of a bummer. No idea to know if uh, Rare Emerald's racing today. So for Electric Arrow, I think I just got to hope that whoever's second in the dirt doesn't win it. Because again, if he races in the green now, he'll be back in the gray, and he may not even be ready to run this China mile, this China Cup at all. Um, in fact, when I refer to Rare Emerald, I mean, I would actually prefer if he was in today's race. If Tasa Waters beats him, then we're good. So, I'm just going to save him for the China Cup. We don't have as big of a lead there. I think that's where the focus needs to be. You know, uh, I wish Twin Sun had the endurance to play blocker in the dirt, because he certainly could, but 
he can't run close to 10, so we're out of luck with that. And trying to sprint, I mean, maybe more winnable. He hasn't ran at five furlongs in a while. He could get his fifth grade one win. So, gosh, these are actually the last three races of this episode in the year. And um, that's where we'll probably close out for a bit. Man. All right, well, Continental Cup of Tossic Waters is rare emerald here. No. Which means that horse is probably showing up at the last race. So, uh, either way, I guess. We're just making sure nobody else gets... But, gosh, nobody else is even here. I guess it actually would have made sense to run Electric Arrow here today since Rare Emerald isn't here and then Toxic Water isn't the other one. But how could I know, you know? Yeah, man. Um... Yes, and we're just, gosh, now we're just running this for fun with Toxic Waters. I don't think there's anything we need to really do here. But at least, you know, Electric Arrow will be ready to face Rare Emerald. Um, if that horse is even there. They don't always show up at the last race, so we may not even have to worry about it. But I'm just hoping whoever's second in the dirt just chokes the race that they're supposed to run today. And uh, that they oh, that don't win, because then we could still get both titles with Electric Arrow. But my god, Racer Luck will go one or two ways. Either that horse won't win that race, or they will win and beat us just by a point to rub it in our face. Either or is a very high possibility. Um, but it's fine. Who is that? I thought that was a horse with NGO on it. Am I tripping? Rancho, oh yeah. No. Nope. Good horse. Uh, not really a threat in the uh, turf series, though, so don't have to worry about it. Granted, though, winning today could maybe put him in a position to be in striking distance at the last race, but Grand Show beating us and, and uh, Emerald, I don't think that's going to happen. It's been a little tricky balancing his speed. The field is kind of moving up and down all over the place. Like nobody, They're not really... A weird stretch run. They weren't really settling like I would expect. The grand Show's taken off on us. I'm not worried at the moment. I think Toxic Waters has the stamina, the power to go ahead and drive away. And we're picking up. Picking up. Here comes Toxic Waters. Less than half a furlong left to go. Going to push ahead. And that is why Toxic Waters is a great freaking racehorse. Gets it done. Another win at 12. It's already gotten the title for it, so it's just a grade one, some earnings, and uh, to keep points away from anybody else that was trying to get in breathing space of Electric Arrow. Gosh, this guy wins 12 furlong races so easily. It's in, it's immaculate. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Continental Cup winner. Two more to go to close out this year, and we'll see if anything happened to the dirt. I hope not. Please tell me, nobody, whoever was in second, I can't remember, was it clear time? I hope that horse didn't win. Oh boy. Twin Sun, though, still six points off in the turf. Could you imagine? If he somehow won the last race, he could still somehow win that chain. That's insane, actually. Oh, look. Yep, clear time. By a point. And Rare Emerald, I'm assuming... If Rare Emerald doesn't show up at that last race, I'm actually going to be really, really, really annoyed. Because that means we could have... Toxic Waters and Electric Arrow are both one for the turf, but Electric Arrow will run again. Unbelievable, man. Un, no, no, not going to that. 
Unfreaking believable, bro. That's wow. <laughs> well, I already put him in the China Sprint. Oh yeah. Nothing to do for Toxic. His year is over. Um, unless there's like a, I don't know, a mile race he can run or something. Is there? Oh, China Mile. Huh. Yeah, he doesn't have any points in the sprint. But you know what? I don't even need to run him. He's done it for the year. All right, two more races. <sighs> China Sprint, China Cup. Uh, both horses can still win a title. That's pretty amazing. Somehow, Twin Sun, only six points off. Nobody ran away with the sprint. I'm kind of surprised. Electric Arrow now just needs to beat Rare Emerald, wherever that horse ends up finishing. And watch, Rare Emerald might not be here, but we won't get a chance to see yet. Twin Sun, China Sprint. Uh, final movie. Everybody that we're competing against is here. They're going to give us... They're saying we're supposed to win this race. Gosh, that's pressure, bro. That's a lot of pressure. Wow. We win this race. The final movie comes in second. They'll still give us the title. So that's pretty incredible. To think, even as he's slowly on the decline, Twin Sun seems to be in his best form right now. Oh, dearie, 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 dear. It's a lot of pressure. Five furlongs. Got to remember, it is a mad dash sprint. So... Fortunately, we can hang out at the back and then really try to surprise the field in the closing moments. Now yeah, we can go three for three. Electric Arrow can... Well, I forgot. Can't win the dirt anymore because uh, perfect clear time just got us. That was my fear, but I'm like... I It made more sense to take the risk there. And perfect art still at the record here. That's crazy. Made more sense to take the risk for the dirt. We can come back and win that thing next year. Oh, gosh, bro. These horses aren't going to move, right? They're going to stay in their gaps, this stretch run. I forgot. We're just running like a mad sprint. I wonder how close to the front I have to keep this dude. Wait, you're good. Oh, we do have to go. We got to go now. Go, go. Oh, gosh. Was that too soon? Oh, man. Come on, twin. You got a furlong left to go, bud. Uh, not going to get there. Final movie is just going to... Oh, come on. Uh, ran his heart out, bro. I just... Gosh, that pace was so fast. It was really hard to, to judge where I needed to get going, especially as a closer. Oh. Darn, bro. Yeah, that was that was tough to navigate for Twin, man. That's it's tough to navigate. <laughs> it could have been just as simple as keeping him at the back, getting him going at the right time, and that's the thing about that ability. That gate rocket sends us out even further in front. It's just like ah, uh, just it's not compatible. And look who's look who's not even freaking here. Look who's not here, people. This is what I mean. This game is such a troll. So, could have still probably ran the dirt. And I could have run today and been fine. Or not run today. Or been in bad shape. Could have won both titles. But can't predict Rare Emerald not showing up for the last two turf races. And couldn't really predict Claire Time for sure winning the dirt. Gosh, to go from possibly having a chance to win three titles to only now one, that, uh... And granted, I still think all the boys, for what it's worth, did fantastic. I'm not taking anything away from any of the horses. It's just like, that quickly it looked like we had a chance to at least get two titles with the dirt and turf with the Electric Arrow. That didn't happen. And then Twin Sun, last race, that was a lot of pressure for us to be the favorite. I just... Gosh, Yeah. I did not um, do what was necessary to secure that victory. Yeah, we weren't settled. We didn't have good positioning, obviously, because, again, like the race is so quick at that point. And because I do have to be mindful of his stamina, it's just it's a lot to account for. I, I didn't do a good job at adjusting. So that's, that's a race I wish I could have back. But I still think even under the perfect circumstances, it would have been challenging. It would have been easier to win because there was no uphill 
inclined to struggle with, but that's the downside of a horse with not great stamina. You got to take all that into consideration. So I'm bummed out about that because the fact that he was still only six points away, him winning that race would have secured that championship for him. You know what I mean? Let's go. Put him away. Now you want to tap into grit? Like, <laughs> now you want to tap into grit, bro. After not doing it really once, I think maybe twice this whole year? I'm being funny. The guy's going to get himself a GWS turf title. Racked up the wins. We went from having only, what, seven to now 15 to close the year. So, Electric Arrow did fantastic. Not his fault he lost the dirt. I mean, I did struggle, I think, in one of those races with him in the beginning of the year because I was still figuring him out. Like the Universal Cup. We finished second. That's a race if we win. We could have secured this championship. Those two races that we dropped... Universal Cup and the one after that. Those are the races that helped, that hurt us. First place in that race would have secured us in the dirt, regardless of clear time winning that last race, you know. So it just kind of bad timing. And then me not being in rhythm with the horse. But five length winner closes out his year with a GWS turf title. And the only turf uh GWS, excuse me, championship winner. Should have really been both of them. Twin Sun and Aram. Twin Sun you know, I dropped the ball in that uh, China Sprint race. I don't run it that often because we usually don't have horse, horses fast enough to compete in it. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, I didn't feel comfortable at all. So that was just kind of a rough race. But Rough World ended up winning the championship. Wow. So actually, well, yeah, winning that race still would have probably secured us the win. We would have had 30. Final movie would have been at 30. We would have won it. Rough World... I forgot where that horse was. Maybe that horse was higher than Final Movie. I don't know. Either way, I don't think he'll be... I don't think I'll still be racing him next year. So that was his one and only time to get a GWS title. Electric Arrow still going to win with Toxic Waters in second. And that's just from blocking races. Rare Emerald didn't even show up the last two races. And then um, Clear Time beats us by one in the dirt. Man... Either way, though, great year for Electric Arrow. The turf and the mid-champ, two titles at once. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely got into gear with him. Eight wins in a row to close out the year. So, after those second-place finishes, he hasn't looked that second in a while. And, uh, yeah, he's on the decline, but stats are still so good. Sustained growth type. 15 gray one wins, 17 wins out of 22 starts, with all finishes being in the top 20. Uh, the top two, all 22 times. Man, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Twin Sun, nice. 136 for the sprint. That's impressive for three-year-olds. I mean, they've rated him as the best sprinter of the year. He should get an award for that, hopefully. Um, and then we look at Toxic Waters and Electric Arrow sharing the turf. Toxic Waters is at a 141. Electric Arrow is 139 for the mid. And Electric Arrow, 137 clear ahead in the dirt. And Electric Arrow, Horse of the Year, Best Dirt Horse and Best Older Horse. And no awards for any of our other guys. Kind of surprising. They gave Final Movie Best Sprinter. And you know what? I guess fair play. I think that horse did deserve it since it won more races than we did. So three titles in a span of less than two minutes for Electric Arrow, mid-champ, GWS Turf, and now Horse of the Year with Best Older Horse and Best Dirt Horse. I still feel like I could do more with, much more with him. You know, despite the winning, really, that finally kicked up. And we win all three categories. Fantastic. Yay. Yada, yada, yada. Overall, a good year. Obviously, having to figure out the, the speedsters and... Ah, I see. I keep forgetting that pops up so quickly. I wish it I wish it would be a little bit of a pause and maybe give you an option, but you know what was I gonna do? Run with the same horses again? I've already ran with all our current Hall of Fame horses, so skipping it actually probably makes more sense. So Toxic Waters is officially five. Uh his stats have pretty much stayed where they're at. He's still been on the balance training regiment, balance speed, balance speed. And I'm gonna keep him on that. And again, with uh, Social Brandy as his 
That's the sire. Uh, this guy could probably still race till seven. So we'll see how things are looking after his five-year-old season. I don't plan on retiring him yet. He's fun. We still have a lot of titles we can win. 13 grade ones and 19 star or 21 starts. He's still only got four titles so far. Mid, long champ, horse of the year, turf. I would still like to see if we can get him a sprint title. We'll see. And uh, we're still working on the long champ. No, we got long champ. I meant, sorry. Electric Arrow, he now bumps himself up to four titles, I believe. No, five. So two G uh, GWSs, which now he's got to win the dirt. So that is going to be our focus with him as a five-year-old. And now that that's all I'm doing, we should be able to secure that. So getting him all three titles, work on a sprint title eventually. Still a lot to do with uh, Electric Arrow, which is fantastic. And um, unfortunately, you see the stamina and the power, though. I keep getting the same type of horses. Which means I have to be picky with breeding because I don't want to run into horses with 40 and 50 stam and power again. Eventually once he's used as a stud, so I'm going to have to make sure we have a really good broodmare. Like I said, S, double S type of stamina and power. Balance that out. Then immaculate horse. So that's going to do it. Uh, one Lady Miracle. She's one years old. We'll be doing breeding again this year if I don't find a good filly before them. Um, two year olds won't be here until the summer so just have to wait um, that's the thing though if I do breeding I mean you know what twin son I can't imagine I'll be racing with him much longer once his stamina starts to fall off so yeah I, we could do breeding again this year we'll retire twin son probably before the end of the year maybe try to pick up a two year old which we'd have to let go of twin son to do that because toxic I'm still going to keep running an electric arrow too um, twin, for what it's worth, man. Still not obviously achieving what we want, but we know why. Still think he'll be good to replace Mad Courage. So um, that's where we're at. Appreciate you guys for love and support on the channel, as always. And uh, I will see you all next time. Enjoy yourself. And uh, Horse Race Gamer, signing out. Hope you have a great fantastic day. We'll see you later. Back for 2004 and maybe some other games soon. Goodbye.